Traditionally in the hardware space, people develop the products in secret and then they launch the products to the world and they're basically solutions that are looking for a problem as opposed to really clearly defining the problem statement up front and then developing a solution with the community that's going to eventually consume it. And so, you know, with regards to the Open Compute project, the way that started was we looked back in 2008, 2009 at the trajectory that we were on from a growth perspective and we decided we needed to grow in a different way, uh, in a more efficient way, a more effective way, um, because at the time we were using co-location spaces, um, which is basically leased data center space, as well as off-the-shelf server and storage products. We started designing our own data center um, and we also kicked off an engineering project to design our own servers at the time. We got it all into production, we measured the results, and the results were actually better than our high expectations. Taking a, a page out of the book of open source software, we looked at how fast that pace of innovation occurs in the software space, and we said, wow, what would happen if we shared this? The Open Compute Project is really staying focused on the physical side of the infrastructure, so the data centers, the servers, and the storage devices, um, and specifically within that area, focused on the unique needs of people that are deploying at scale. So the goals of the project, uh, of the Open Compute Project, are to really, number one, accelerate that pace of innovation by sharing some of the best ideas that we could come up with. And that's really what the Open Compute Project is focused on. There are a number of companies that are already adopting Open Compute, um, but we also think that the number of, of companies that this is going to be applicable for is going to grow over time. This trend towards cloud, HPC, scale, whatever you want to call it, it is a growing trend and so people are, are deploying at larger and larger scale. There was already a lot of pent-up passion in the community around taking more control over their hardware infrastructure uh, and so since launching the project about a year ago we've seen a tremendous amount of engagement from the community, not only from end users but also from the suppliers in the industry as well. And so we're really hoping that the innovation content can go up because we're really taking an active role in converging those voices from the community. We're really excited about Red Hat's involvement in the project because a lot of customers started to ask, hey, it's great that you're open sourcing your hardware designs, but what should I run on it? In talking to the folks at Red Hat, they were really ready, willing, and able to immediately do Red Hat Enterprise Linux certifications on top of open compute hardware. And so that really just gives the consumers of the open compute hardware devices confidence that Red Hat will stand behind deploying uh, RHEL on, on the hardware. And so it's, it's generated a lot of interest, a lot of traction, and so we're really glad to have Red Hat as, as a friend of the Open Compute Project. While it did start with Facebook open sourcing our designs, that whole ecosystem around Open Compute is really starting to take off, and the people that are inspired by the project is really starting to take off, and, and that's really what I'm excited about, is just in our first year, seeing the impact that we've had, and envisioning what it could be in the years to come, it's really exciting for me.